Hello, my beautiful thinking people. It's your host, Clyde Phillips of Advocation X, and I'm here once again just to bring up some very special topics. Uh, the first one I want to broach is uh, very personal. Very, very personal. So I hope you're listening very well. I want to know what you would do if your family member was being abused. Would you stand up for them? Would you fight for them? Would you go to the ends of the earth to make sure that they were safe? Or would you just sit back and hope that everything's just gonna work out on its own? Are you there for your family or are you not? That's my biggest question. And I want you to think about that. In my opinion, family loyalty is second to none. Second to none. And if to you, family loyalty means very little, or it means pouring water through a sieve, well, we're on different pages. Now, if you are one of those who would stand up for your family member and go to the ends of the earth to make sure they were fine, then answer me this. If your government was allowing your family to be abused, and no matter how many times you pleaded, they continued to allow your family members to be abused, what would you do? How far would you go? Think about that. So when I'm watching the world stage and I see on the world stage that people are holding others responsible for causing harm to others. And then I realize this, almost nobody has stepped up to the plate. Almost nobody. That means all of these other people are just sitting back going, ah, uh, it'll work out. Let it work itself out. When it's your turn, and it will be your turn, don't ever fool yourself into thinking that you will be immune to the same fate that crosses other people's path. When it is your turn, I hope you realize nobody's going to stand up for you either. You're going to be left in the dust. And your fate will be left to just that, fate. So think of that. When you're watching the world stage and you see many things happening around the world, and everybody's sitting back watching from their comfortable little living room, in their comfortable little chair, thinking all is well, I'm here sipping my little beer or wine. Nobody's bothering me, so I'm not bothering anybody else. Well, guess what? World peace means world peace for a reason. If you're not part of world peace, you're part of the world turmoil. And when world turmoil comes to your doorstep, there's not going to be anybody there to help you. Do you realize, look around you right now. Almost every person in the world now is being individualized. Now, what do I mean when I say individualized? Quite simple. Think about it. You're living in a small, isolated cell. And in that little cell, you are trying your best to protect yourself and your immediate, immediate charges. You can't do it alone. I'm gonna tell you that right now. If you're being left alone, it's on purpose. But when you are targeted, Believe me, you're going to pray and hope that somebody steps up to the plate to help you fight back. Anyway, I wanted to get that out. Think about that for a minute. Hit the like button, subscribe, become a member, share this video with everybody. This is a life concern and it concerns every single one of us. So stay safe, stay healthy. And above all, stay as happy as humanly possible. So until next time, love you all.